most of the properties in Lapine are on septic and well. The city limits of Lapine is a very small area compared to what we call Lapine. In this episode, we're going to talk about what might be required if you have intentions of adding on, building a shop. This is Thesa Chambers with Fred Real Estate, and I'll be your guide through Septic and Lapine. Stay tuned. Most of the properties in Lapine are on septic, and most of them are in great condition. You'll find concrete tanks, you'll find a standard system, you'll find a, what we call a sand filter system. There's all types of systems, and it depends on what the groundwater is in each area to which system is on the property. Some of the things we can look at ahead of time as both a buyer and a seller is what kind of tank is on the property. We still find several steel tanks on properties, and some of those steel tanks are working just fine right now. Some of them have what you might call pinholes through around the water line. Some might actually have a full rust line that's rotting out, and some could downright be falling apart. During the sale, we generally have the septic pumped and inspected, and we can then make a determination of what needs to happen. Tank replacement's super simple and super affordable in comparison to a whole new system. A tank replacement in today's world runs around $3,500. And they will take care of everything for you. They will come, they will schedule the tank to be pumped again. They will remove the old tank, put in the new tank, and pull all the county permits that need to be pulled. That's an easy fix. Super simple. Many sellers do it ahead of time. Some do it during escrow. When it gets tricky is when you're buying a home that you intend to build a shop or add sleeping quarters or do a whole family room, bedroom conversion. When you start adding square footage to a home, especially bedrooms, the county very well may require you to do a full upgrade of your system. And most of the time an upgrade is less expensive than a whole system. But the property and the system is going to that's already in place is going to dictate how expensive that's going to be. Because if there's not room to upgrade the system, and by upgrading what they mean is you usually have to add a whole additional tank to take a, a, what's currently there, which is either a sand filter or a standard system, and make it either a standard ATT system or a sand filter ATT system. To do that, it's pretty, it's pretty simple to say. You just add what they call a dousing tank, some other components, and presto magic, you are now got the ATT system. The problem is, is if that system is where you're going to build your shop or if that addition is right where the tank goes or is or there's not room between the septic tank and the drain field to put that dousing tank in now your expense is going to be more having an agent that understands the idiosyncrasies of the septic systems in our area the soil composition and what might be required is highly beneficial to the, both the buyer and the seller. So you want to talk about septic? I've got lots of people in my back pocket, so to speak, that are my favorite excavators and favorite septic people, and they can help guide us to make sure that the property that you're going to buy is perfect for what you're wanting to do on it. And for sellers, they can help make sure that you're not going to hit stumbling blocks during your transaction. This is Thesa Chambers with Fred Real Estate. If I'm being helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Look forward to our next visit. Have a great day.